Well, hello, visitors to and denizens of the youtube -iverse. I'm John, your sociable hermit in the woods, and in this video I wanted to cover how to make Tuscan-style grouse pasta. So stick around. Your first step is going to be to crush up some fresh garlic cloves, about three of them. So we're going to peel those here and put them through the garlic press. You want to cut off the desiccated little bottom end on each clove first. Okay. And then into our press. One. Two. You can use all the bits that didn't even go through as well. They'll work perfectly well here. So but that all breaks it up nicely. And the handful of sun-dried tomato. You can either use the uh, ones that are canned in oil or the dried ones. Um, you can get ones that are already pre-cut or you can get ones that are nearly whole, like these. If they're nearly whole, you want to dice them up into littler pieces like so. Big enough to still give some color and texture to the dish, uh, but small enough to kind of spread their flavor around. While you're doing this, you can actually go ahead and get your pasta water up and heating, because that's going to take a while to, uh, to do. Okay, you take your sun-dried tomatoes, you can toss those in with your garlic in your little holding dish here. Uh, and I'm also going to take, I'm also going to take and add uh, just a, a couple of capers in there. Again, more for texture than anything else. those and then and then I'm gonna also take a few manzanilla olives I like these so I'm gonna use a fair number now those I'm not going to saute so I'm gonna keep those separate cut these into little slices We're going to take a uh, frying pan here on medium heat, and we're going to put in, I'm going to eyeball this, but I'm going to say about a tablespoon and a half of olive oil. And to that, we're going to add the mixture of the garlic, the capers, and the sun-dried tomatoes. And we're going to stir that around. Once that starts to sizzle in there, uh, you don't want to cook it for too long. About a, give it about a minute. And make sure you stir it around a bit so it doesn't stick down too much. You're really just trying to uh, caramelize the garlic a little bit and get some of the flavors out of the tomato and the capers into the oil. Okay, next what you're going to do is you're going to add about a half a cup of sour cream. You can kind of eyeball this. That looks like about right. And my container is pretty close to empty, so you know what? I'm going to go ahead, about another eighth of a cup there. I'm just going to go ahead and do this. We're going to add water to uh, adjust the, the final product texture anyways. Now, at this point, you're going to add a dash, depending on personal taste, of uh, chili flakes. You're going to drop in. You're going to drop in 
those sliced manzanilla olives. And then you're going to take your shredded grouse. Wait, what's shredded grouse? Well, if you don't know that, you have to check out my video on how to make it. I'll put a link at the end of this one. Anyways, in goes your delicious looking shredded grouse. Stir that around. Now at this point, this is a little bit thicker than you want. You want something that's, you don't want it soupy, but you want it uh, a little bit runnier than that. And you want the flavors to blend. So so, so what we're going to do is we're going to add in a little bit of water. You can always add more, so don't go too crazy. All right. A little bit of water there. Now we're going to add paprika. And again, personal taste. I'm going to put a fair bit in there. It adds color and flavor. And oregano. This is my own homemade oregano. If you had fresh basil, that would also be really good. Okay, I'm going to stir that in. You can see how the paprika is giving that cream sauce a nice reddishy pink hue, and it already starts to smell really good. And the texture there is about right. It's, uh, I'd like it a little bit thicker than that, but as we heat it, we'll evaporate a little bit of water, and that'll be about right. A little bit of black pepper won't hurt right now. Okay, and leave that all to simmer a little bit. Your water is now boiling, and you're ready for your pasta. So a dish like this, I mean, you can make it with whatever pasta you want, but it'll work really well with uh, rotini or fusilli. I'm going to use rotini for this. And again, I'm not really going to measure. Yeah, about a cup and a half. I'm kind of looking at how much of the uh, grouse sauce there is. And yeah, that looks about right. A little tiny bit more. Okay. Now, quickly give that a stir so they don't clump together. And so that is going to boil for your desired cooking time. It says on here nine minutes. So anything kind of from eight to ten ish, probably. And that'll be a perfect amount of time for our sauce to uh, heat up and thicken. When your pasta is ready, turn off the sauce, turn off the pasta. I think you probably all know how to drain pasta with a, with a strainer, but you know, there you go, visual effects. Okay, keep the large pot, set it on the cool burner, and what you're going to do, shake off your pasta here. It's okay if it's still got a little bit of hot water on it. Dump it back in there. And then we're going to take our sauce and we're going to dump the sauce on top of the pasta. There we go. And you can see that's, that's kind of the texture, personally, I would like it. Um, not too runny, not too thick. Flavors are all nicely blended. Get everything out of there. Okay, now all you do is, at this point, Stir all this around. And this is where the type of pasta um, does make a difference. Something like rotini uh, or fusilli is very easy to do this. It spreads evenly, uniformly. You know, um, if you use something like spaghetti, it would be harder to get it uh, without kind of clumping up. Okay, you're not quite done. Everything is still hot. You've just spread it. Now you take Parmesan cheese. And again, I'm not going to really measure exactly, but I'm going to put about a third of a cup. Okay. And give that a nice stir. And now you're ready to serve. Scoop in here. Finally, I'm going to top this with a little bit of fresh ground lemon pepper. 
There we go. Um, also, you may have noticed I didn't add any salt here. I did that intentionally because I didn't want to over salt it. A dish like this is really easy. It's just to salt right at the end. So, And you know what? When it's pretty close already with everything you already put in there, the olives and stuff. It actually doesn't need any more salt. So that was a that was a good idea. And there you have it. A delicious dinner made with your shredded grouse. I hope this gave you some ideas. Um, maybe you can try something similar. And with that, until next time, this is John, your social herm in the woods, about to have his dinner. <laughs>